talked all along, when this first broke with the women, you were torn because you really wanted to see him held to account for what he did on the nursing homes. And it's insane. We've talked about it before that 15,000 dead seniors doesn't seem to register with the with the populace, with the media, with the Democrats in control in New York. But 11 women saying that they've been inappropriately touched does not in any way to diminish the women. It's just one story caught fire and the other one was totally buried and ignored intentionally. So how are you feeling about it today? I've always said I don't care what, you know, takes them off the stage. Uh, I am in full support of these women and I, I've become close to these women as well. I don't think that this would have happened without them. I think it's terrible what they went through. And I've used the analogy about Al Capone going to jail for tax evasion. It wasn't mm -hmm. for the really deeply corrupt criminal stuff. Yes, what they did was could be construed as criminal and assault and all of that. But when you talk about over 15,000 elderly and the fact that he put infected patients into nursing homes where the most vulnerable reside and then covered it up uh, to sell a $5.1 million book, I mean, listen, the apples and oranges here. And so I don't care what ultimately makes him leave the building. But I do want these investigations to continue because he does need to be held accountable. And, you know, this morning we had Ron Kim on Fox News in the morning with us. It was the first time I had seen him, you know, via Zoom. And I got Aww. choked up because Aww. I'm so grateful to him. You know, it's not about politics. You know, he's a Democrat and I'm sure we disagree and agree on things when it comes to, to politics and what happens in the world. But when it comes to our connection about what happened to our loved ones in nursing homes, like his uncle, uh, you know, the story he tells about his uncle helping him come to the United States, help his family come to the United States. It's quite, it's quite a story he tells. And so I'm grateful to him. And I feel like I have an ally of him in a world where I really need their support and he can be somebody inside of there to say, mm -hmm. this is what we need to do and let's do the right thing. Yeah, because right now he's going to go off, I predict, into private practice, get a job with a posh law firm, make a few million bucks a year and say, oh, changing standards. You know, I just didn't understand as if men who are 64 years old elsewhere don't know not to grab their executive assistant's breast underneath her blouse or squeeze her bottom and hold his hand there while doing a selfie or touch the chest of a woman who comes to meet them in a rope line or rub a state trooper's belly who's just trying to protect him, this creep who pulled her over onto his detail before she was even allowed to be there. She was so young and inexperienced, but he clearly caught, she clearly caught his eye, right? So like he's going to go off into private practice and be like, oh, changing standards. And it, it, maybe in five years, he says, I'm going to throw my hat back in the ring for national politics. And unless unless these legislators or the those who are investigating him on the nursing home scandals do something more, it's possible. I don't think he has a lot of friends right now. You know, if, if there was the possibility that he had allies, I would think that there was more of a possibility of that. But I think he's burned so many bridges and so many people have stories of corruption. Ronan Farrow has has an article out about, you know, some of his terrible misdeeds several years ago. I haven't read it, but I, I'm sure if it's Ronan Farrow and he's writing about um, Andrew Cuomo's misdeeds, uh, it's probably pretty uh, lethal. So listen, he doesn't have many friends and he doesn't have anywhere to go or to hide. And all of the people that work around him are jumping off the ship like rats. So I don't know if he comes back from this, mm. um, but I suppose if you're Andrew Cuomo, you probably think you can survive anything.